78 pounds. With a record of one win by way of knockout and one loss, one draw. From Kamloops, British Columbia, Ty with the wild wing trip. Ready to start it at 175 pounds. With a record of one win by way of knockout from Orangeville, Ontario. Scheduled four four rounds, similar to our opener. Frangic in the black with the wild wing trim, and McDougal in the black with white trim. And you know what? It's actually interesting that Frangic is able to make 175. One of his hidden talents is actually being able to chug an entire bottle of Mr. Butterworth syrup. You can check that out on the internet after you watch this broadcast. Frangic, clearly the longer of the fighters. But he's the one applying pressure, and usually with taller fighters, you can see them use their reach. Frangic looking again on the inside. He's actually hitting some shots from McDougal. Trying to set the pace here early on. Frangic undoubtedly in terrific shape. And he can cut this pace for four rounds without any sort of problem, one would imagine. Dougal, though, doing some good work on the inside. Good right uppercut. Frangic, something to think about as he comes in. Frangic, I mentioned, with an extensive amateur background. Very little that he hasn't seen in the way of styles. And he's looking like he wants to bang away. He wants to make this fight into a, a full booth affair, and he needs a left hook. McDougal. Giving Frangic a lot more trouble than he would imagine. Brandis thus far looking to go to the body. You see a lot of taller fighters. Guys like Antonio Margarito who like to ravage that body with a solid attack. And Brandis looking to do that. He's focusing a lot on that left hook, and that's going to pay dividends. There you go. McDougal opening up just a little bit, and Frangic almost caught him with a big right hand. Step around him. Don't stand in front of him. That could end things real quickly if it were to land. Step around him. Frangic finding his groove, but McDougal not backing down, throwing punches, throwing a lot of them. But is this a pace that he can cut? Another left hook. And it's tough to cut that pace when you're eating body shots all night. Frangic pushing that jab forward once again. He's dictating the terms here. Left hook again. An excellent pace. Another left hook. McDougal has to be careful not to open up. When he's backing up and throwing from range, he's giving Frangic all sorts of openings, and Steve's starting to find them. Some more good body work by Frangic. And you can hear the crowd getting into it a little bit more. Two good right hands, and McDougal's backed up, but he holds on, there's 10 seconds left to go in this round, Grant is finding that right hand now, McDougal spins out of the corner wisely, he was in a dangerous spot there, and what a first round. Not at all what we expected out of Frangic, who, again, an excellent tactician. We were maybe looking for him to throw that jab out there. To create distance, to fight like a long fighter. But he's here to entertain. His cut man, Billy Martin, that's exactly the kind of fighter that he enjoys. So maybe not a surprise at all if you take a look at his team. McDougal maybe surprised Frangis with his work inside. He's throwing a good variety of punches. You can tell that he's 
been in there and sparring. He's worked on that. He was throwing uppercuts. But again, a lot of openings when he's backing up and throwing from range. And not a lot of angles. He's giving Frangic looks in terms of punches. Maybe he needs to move around. To give Frangic different targets. He was starting to find them with ease at the end of that round. Round two scheduled for four. Again, Frangic with the Wild Wing logo on his trunks. McDougal in the black and white. More left hooks by Frangic on the inside. That's it. Pick those shots inside, Steve. Pick those shots up. McDougal doing just the same. Frangic climbing the ladder, going downstairs, upstairs with two left hooks. And he is focusing on that left hook. Not too many jabs. All hooks on the inside. That's all right. Keep sticking it. Brand just getting creative. Using that right hand to go downstairs. And now upstairs. A solid right hand. The tables are turning and the momentum clearly in Frangic's corner right now. Another left hook as he backs away. He is not giving McDougal any room to breathe whatsoever. Eating an uppercut. Not the kind of fight you want a prospect in in a second bout. Pressure's right there. Body. This is That's one it. heck of a time for the fans right now. And Frangic finding his mark. There you go. A good flurry on the inside. McDougal trying to look like he's in trouble. He's caught up in the ropes. Frangic maybe looking to finish. McDougal still defending himself, firing back. Shove him! Shove him! Frangic not too eager, giving himself room to breathe. Get out of there. Giving himself get the roof, get space to punch. Don't give him room, back get in the room. Get him there. Not getting too anxious. A sign of a solid prospect and a good lead right hand. Step to the right, step to the right. When you're throwing lead right. Also a sign of a hand speed advantage. And we're seeing that on the inside. McDougal temporarily staggered by another one of those right hands. What a war so far through two rounds. Brandish, when he creates distance, again, McDougal opening up and he's finding his mark. He seems content standing on the inside. And granted, he's winning the war there. And he's winning it right now. McDougal up against the road. And he's down for the first time. of legs right now. He's coming in tight. He doesn't want to have to body move too speed, much. Body. Eats a right and a left once again. Don't be there, Steve. Looking now. to get his bearings. Fred is not overly eager. Knows when he's supposed to go in to finish and when he's not. Smart boxing. I know fans wanted him to dive in there and go for the finish, but that was an intelligent piece of work by Steve Frangic. He knew his opponent wasn't entirely out of there. He did the right thing. And a man who always did the right thing. The ringside, you saw George Chabal there, the former Canadian heavyweight champion, and he'd be proud of this work on the inside. A hard right hand. And McDougal forced to back up. Just a barrage of punches. McDougal not throwing anything back. And forced to go down. And that knockdown may have been, you know, one of attrition. One of McDougal simply taking to the canvas so that he didn't incur further punishment. Maybe an intelligent decision on McDougal's part. Because it wasn't like he crumpled to the canvas there. But nonetheless, excellent work by Steve Frangic. He is completely in control at this point in the bout. After maybe a few hiccups coming out of the break. Frangic. Frangic and McDougal here in round three of this light heavyweight affair. Second bout here on Super Brawl. Got a lot of action so far. A couple of knockdowns. And some excellent infighting right here. You're seeing a good punch variety, and that's something you look for in prospects. Not just raw motion. But he's thinking about the punches that he's throwing. He's placing them. Box off 
those. Come on, let's and McDougal go. had no answers in the second round. Let's see what Frantic has left after that barrage that he finished the round with. Another left hook to the body. Step left, step right. You can tell he's still thinking. Usually a sign that a fighter's getting tired when he's just winging punches, and that's not the case at all with Frantic. You saw him place another solid right hand there a second ago, and downstairs once again. Nice and short in there. There you go. That bump and shoot is Frangich with an uppercut of his own. Come on, work him, Steve. You're in shape, man. You're in shape. Just excellent work. That's a hard left hook. That's not touching to the body. He ripped back to the body of McDougal. Right there, big it. And they've got to start wearing McDougal down at some point. Pick it up now. Come on. Showcase, come on. Showcase. Nice, there. Good left Steve, hook staggers McDougal. He's against the ropes once again. Frangich just mauling McDougal on the ropes right now, and he drops for a second time. Just overwhelming McDougal. Those body shots taking their toll. And can he continue? And his corner says no. Steve Frangich with an emphatic second career victory. An emphatic way to begin this Super Brawl card. No shame for Ty McDougal whatsoever. And here you see how it ended. Another barrage of punches. And really, I don't think it was that right hand that finished things. It was that body work that accumulated throughout the bout. You saw it starting from the first round onwards. It was going to catch up with him, and eventually, he had to topple over. And right now, you see McDougal in the corner, doubled over right now, and that's a sign of a fighter. He just could not incur that punishment any longer. Steve Frangis, again, the punch place. You can see Frangis, his family, and the Wild Wing owner, Rick Nicholas. My main man Dominic at ringside as well, celebrating the victory.